people always ask about the name and I think there's some real deep and meaningful reason to it but we didn't want it to be called Cupcake Corner because we started as a cupcake store or something Steve and Danny's Cafe because it's all a bit twee and naff. So we just wanted an odd name and then we had the picture of Tina up there who is this real woman from the 50s and it's quite an iconic sort of kitsch print of this woman. And we had her, she used to hung, hang on our cupcake stall so we thought cupcakes are a bit sort of retro, we'll hang her up. And then we're just trying to think of this odd name and we were sitting in one day and we'd had a couple of bottles of red wine and it was the first one we thought of and I think we only wrote, ended up writing number two because it was like, oh, it's perfect. And it was always, we'll hang her up in the cafe. Other arms reach out to me. Other and then, obviously we do a lot with the art. We always wanted to make it a, a very arty venue. Embrace the community that was around here. And also because cafes are busy and they get, they get sort of grimy and tired looking really quick. So it effectively gives us a free, you know, well, a cheap, coat of paint every eight weeks but the thinking was that they would always have to work directly on the wall it would never be anything that would be hung up to be sold um, so every two months we'd paint it over white and then the next person would come in um, I, I dread to think there must be 20 layers of paint over things like this we just literally give people a set of keys so we paint the walls white give them a set of keys show them how to get in and out and turn the lights off and then we leave them to it Oh God, the cupcakes. Um, how did we end up doing cupcakes? It was a time when cupcakes were super trendy, wasn't there? Yeah, we just went to Upmarket, which was an offshoot of um, Spitalfields. Um, and we got a, a, a plot there for, I think it was 30 quid for a Sunday. So I was teaching and then on a Saturday evening, I used to make a couple of hundred cupcakes at home. I know it's demented. When I look back at it, I was like, we were so crazy. And we used to make four different flavour icings and put them in big silver bowls. And then we used to put all the cupcakes in like this trolley and get on the bus, 67, from Dalston down to um, Commercial Street to, and then set up and put, hang Tina up and have these bowls of ice. And then the thing was the, the cupcakes, cupcakes would be out on the counter, on the stall. And then if people wanted to say a box of four, they could choose the different icings and we would ice them by hand there and then. And, and it just was really cool. It was great, you know, and it's, so we used to have like a trolley and they used to go in these big plastic tubs all lined up and we used to get like two, a couple of, two or three layers of them separated by Bluetooth paper. So it was quite a, like an operation and all the equipment used to go in a rucksack. Yeah, it was quite an operation. It was good though. <laughs> Finding the unit is one of the hardest things, I think and a corner unit is you know, the dream for a lot of people, especially with such you know, big glass windows. Um, I thought the church opposite, the church buildings were lovely. And I think when I came down here, that it was, it was sort of early spring, so there was this road's really pretty. And I just was like, oh, this is a, this is a pretty little corner, even though there was nothing here at the time. The song of you comes as soft and clear as the moonlight through the it's a real mix. I mean, people come here because I don't know why people come here. Apart from it being a great cafe, I think it's just, you know, it's people just come to here have a chat and a laugh. And we don't make a fuss about the coffee. Our coffee's excellent, but, you know, I don't particularly want to talk about it or sit down and flip and read about it. I just want to make sure people are enjoying it, pay for it before they, <laughs> they leave. And that's it, you know, they can just come any time and expect, they, they know they're going to get excellent food and drink, but we can talk about other stuff. And I love talking, I mean, you probably tell from this interview, I like talking. I love the sound of my own voice. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. What else did I used to like teaching? Oh, things like, you know, year one dinosaurs or how a volcano works or growing broad beans. It's all stuff like that. I used to love teaching all stuff like that. 